Hi everyone, this is Marcia. Welcome back to another jewelry hunt. We have a rather large jar to open this week. $29.99 is what we paid for it. This is heavy. I'm sure the glass jar is a lot of the weight. Looks like a lot of earrings in here. Oh my goodness. Well, that was an interesting piece that I was going to show you that dropped at the bottom. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a lot of carded things. Oh, that's cute. Alrighty. Well, I hope everyone is having a good day. Oh, I'm sorry about that glare. Let's go ahead and open this and see what we can find. I have my camera higher than I normally have it for showing the jewelry, only because this is so... To get rid of the tape. The jar itself is so high. Well, I guess they used what they had, and they had blue painter's tape. Okay. Oh, well, that's not good. I see something. Oop. Put that back in there. <laughs> I see something rusted. I will have to be careful with that. As usual, I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to dump some of this stuff out on the mat, and we'll start looking. like some interesting pieces in here. Okay, that that might be enough to start. Ooh, this thing just well, this is a long necklace and it's broken. Here's an older pen. Let's start with a little flower power. interesting. Hmm. I got something similar to this in another jar, but it had uh... well, that's faces. I think I had watch parts. So crap. Ooh, it's a button cover. I have no idea. It reminds me of a swimming pool. I don't know what this is. Looks like a ladder. Okay. Interesting pieces. I don't know. Anyway, got that one. Oh, I see a ring. This is adjustable. Very dirty underneath. I bet that is going to look pretty. It will look very pretty when it's cleaned up. And everything's there. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Let's get rid of the hair. If I can. Well, we have a charm bracelet. See a name on it, but we've got a bug and we've got a cat. I don't know if that white spot's supposed to be there or not. Oh, we have a birdhouse, and we have a rabbit, and we have a donkey. It's a strange combination of pieces. This is so heavy. So, got that. Oh my. Uh -oh. 
got it. This is an earring. Clip earring. Huh. No name. I'm surprised. Well, we'll find out if we have the other one of those. Okay. I'm not even going to. I think the chain is all part of this. But it's a brooch. Yeah, oh, well, that was easier than I thought it would be. It's missing something right there. Okay. That's something crafty. I guess it was an earring. So we got parts. And what is this thing? <laughs> well, of course, it's a clamper bracelet. It's got some wear on the inside, a little bit on the outside, too. But it might clean up. There you go. This is an earring. It's articulated. I was going through some things yesterday and came across a circle pin that looked very similar to this. Okay, got that. This is uh, the earring. This is the piece that was on the top. I'm going to take a look at the front off camera. Okay, it just says, why wait? New American Homes. Um, sometimes it has a date on the edge. I'll take a closer look at that thing. Must have gotten wet. Oh my. Okay, I'm not supposed to be showing the earrings. Put the earrings off to the side. I'm not supposed to. I mean, I can if I want, but I want to see if I can get them matched up. Okay, we'll take this. This is heavy. This is very. I thought this was plastic. No, but it's probably brass. The thing's heavy. Let's see. What have we got here? We've got an Avon. S H. Avon. And another earring I showed. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see a ring. Um. I don't. Come on, focus. That is not moving. I'm trying to, there we go. It looks like a tiger's eye, but it, it's not moving. So I'm thinking it's faux. It's got wear. It's, I'm sorry, this is not focusing because of everything going on in the background. Keychain. I have no idea what this is. I mean, it's a ring with a bunch of plastic beads on it. I'm trying to get this piece out. Okay, we'll work around it. This is plastic. These are wooden beads, and I'm not sure if these are metal. Yep, 
they're metal because they're sticking. Hmm. This is a bracelet. Seriously? Does that say nine two five? Hmm. But something is missing, or is it? No, maybe not. Does it hook on here? Wow. I'll test this, but that is wonderful if that's sterling, because that, that is a good chunk of metal there. Very nice. I like that. Ooh. Now, I don't know. Is this pyrite painted? Don't know. Well, this is a button. Pretty. Rhinestone. This piece is very long. Don't see any names, so it's just costume, but... And I think it is losing some it's some of the plating. But it's long. Yeah. You can see it's got a more silver look up here. But it's old. What is this? It's an earring. Here's another bracelet. Oh, it's got hearts on it. The bracelet itself has a little bit of weight to it, but the the end the end with the clasp is rather lightweight. Still pretty. Okay. What is this? This looks pretty. Okay, well, it's not a slider bar, but it's a Ralph Lauren piece. pretty and shiny <laughs> oh my goodness that's an earring I'll show that later I thought it was a bracelet can we get this okay wow if this were silver my goodness oh my goodness I think it is can we see it through the camera Come on. Does that say 925? Honestly, I can't see. Let me look. It sure does. It says 925. This is very nice. Very nice. So that's about a 16, 17 inch. Does it stick? No, it doesn't. But we'll test it again. Wonderful find if it is. Oh, here's a 
Claire's? Is it Claire's piece? No, icing. And you know, Claire's pieces, I looked them up. You know, necklaces like this can be, you know, anywhere $12.99 to $20. So not terribly expensive, but not inexpensive either. It's got some wear on the back. Pretty rhinestones, and they are all there. Oh, here's another one. Of, oh, it's a bracelet to match that uh, that uh, rope chain, the necklace. And there's a mark. I am so sorry. This is not staying focused. There you go. Does it say 925? Oh, it does. I had it upside down, but it sure does say 925. All right. Well, that goes with that chain we just looked at. And here is a gold tone rope chain. Very nice. And, ooh, that's pretty. Come on, focus. Isn't that pretty? I believe it's probably just a plated, maybe electroplated. It has a mark on the inside, but that is really pretty. Yeah, it says, this is 18K heavy gold electroplated. Very pretty the profile. Come on. Focus. There we go. It's pretty. It's just a piece of plastic, I think. Well, no, it is glass. It's very cold anyway. And this is just painted on. Oh my. There we go. Painted on. Looks like it could be... Um, an Avon piece. But I don't see a mark for Avon. Oh, this is not a good angle. I'm trying to look at it below the the camera. And it keeps going out of focus. Wow. This is a nice one. Again. A vintage piece. Very nice. Very long. Probably 24 inches. Very nice. Can we get to this yet? No. Okay. Missing a rhinestone. Right there. What's that say? Love you more. Well, you could see that. There you go. Love you more. Got that bracelet. Uh-oh, we had a Monet, I think. Or a Napier. I'll look at that later. It's part of an earring. Does have a clasp? We got a tangle. Oh, we got somebody's perfume in here. Oh. And a piece of shell, slice, slice of shell. And these are gold tone, like the tubular beads. They're all clasp. Look at that. This is long, but I don't think it has. Oh my goodness. 
doesn't have a um, clasp. This has a name. Can we make it out? I have no idea what that says. Oh, Balboa. Okay, well, another vintage rope chain. Oh, I think this piece is broken. It might be able to be repaired. I think it can be repaired. It just needs to these two rings need to go back on this jump ring. Very delicate. Okay, well that's repair. A necklace with the initial H pendant costume, but it's cute. You know, someone that has the name that starts with H. Well, I know a few people actually. way it was hooked onto this necklace I thought maybe it was the this whole chain piece was was the earring I mean I've seen them long but I don't know about that long oh my it's still in there alrighty This is part of this. Seriously. My goodness. Okay, it's got this type of hook closure. Who is this? Got a triangle. I don't know who that is. It's very long. That just hangs down the back. That would get on my nerves. I like the front. I like the way it's constructed, but. This back is strange. Too much going on in the back. Anyway, that's it. We'll have to take a closer look at that. Okay, we gotta be close to getting this Separate it. This has this has some writing on it. Could be sterling. I don't think the bottom piece is sterling. Looks like copper. Let me take a quick look. Maybe it's a copper piece. Yeah, it's sterling. Another piece of sterling. It says uh, AGI 925 Italy on both the clasp. Well, the, the clasp says 925, and it says the um, 925 Italy and AGI on the, on the ball chain. 
This is not. I don't believe this is sterling. We'll put it off to the side. We've got a shoe clip. We'll look for the other one. Oh, this one's apart. It's rose gold. Ooh. That's kind of scratchy. What have we got? Another birdhouse. <laughs> it's got a moose. And a snowman. And the crown. Crown. Let's see that. Oh, that's pretty. It's double sided. There's some wear to these things, but. I turn him around. That's. I believe that's. I believe that's Santa. It's pretty. It's pretty. I don't think it is Pandora. Don't see any marks on the inside. Okay, here we go. It's it's not bad for what it is. Okay, these stoppers are supposed to stop these from run running around. I think, but it's not working. <laughs> got that. All righty. We have got to be able to get these two things apart. I'm going off camera. Yay! <laughs> and here we have a geode, a druzy on the inside there. But what is it? Is it quartz? Is it agate? Sparkly. Very nice. Oops. Oh, I'm having a terrible time staying focused. And this. No clasp. Just. Oh, but it does have a clasp. Look at that. It was hidden in the tangle. Very nice. This is vintage. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here. I have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> and then we'll come back and I will do a part two and we'll keep on looking. Alrighty, well, until that next video, you all take care. Bye-bye.